Mackenzie's Book Nook. Today I'm going to be reading I Don't Want to Be Quiet by Laura Ellen Anderson. No, I don't want to be quiet. I'd rather be loud. I want to be heard and stand out from the crowd. It's so much more fun when you're noisy like me. I don't understand why mom doesn't agree. Mom whispers, be quiet, your brother is sleeping. But oops, it's too late. Now the baby's weeping. <coughs> At school, I love chatting and laughing and clapping. But my teacher gets angry and then starts snapping. Enough, please be quiet. You must listen in school. But silence in class is a bit, is a terrible rule. Stairs are for stomping, spoons are for drumming, and when my mom's working, I help her by humming. Tin cans are for clanging, balloons are for popping. Mom really hates that, but I'm not stopping. Food is for crunching and drinks are for slurping. My feet are for splashing, my mouth is for burping. Oops, but... One day at the library, it's quiet and boring. I'd rather be singing or spinning or roaring. So I make silly noises and shuffle my chair. I twiddle my thumbs and fiddle my hair. I huff and I puff and I finally burst. I don't like this place. It's too quiet. This place is the worst. Shh, we're reading. Talk quietly, please. I stop and I frown, then I stare at my knees. My checks, cheeks go all red, so I pick up a book. Maybe I'll give this a really quick look. Page after page, I'm completely spellbound. Hours have passed and I've, and I've not made a sound. But inside my head, there's a whole lot of noise. Magical quest, pirate girls, and lost boys. Next morning I listen and what do I hear? Birds tweeting and singing their new morning cheer. And then, while at school, I learn lots of new things about numbers and poems and the reigns of great kings. I like being quiet. It means I hear more of the small, gentle sounds that I couldn't before. But there are still lots of places and times to be loud when I'm drumming and dancing and dot, dot, dot. Making my mom proud.